Hi, this is Dr. John Bergduff. In this video, which is going to be very short, I want to just show you a quick example of calculating angles related to a diagram where you have some isosceles triangles. So in the picture we have here, the, mar the marks represent congruent sides, sides with the same length, and we're looking to find the values of angles X and Y. I want to first of all focus on this triangle here, and I want to notice that I have all three sides marked. That means that that triangle is an equilateral triangle. And that's important because an equilateral triangle, where all sides are congruent, is also an equiangular triangle in which all the angles are congruent. So if the angle in the lower right-hand corner is x degrees, this angle is also x degrees, and this angle here is also x degrees. Now we know that the sum of the measures of the angles of a triangle is 180 degrees, so we have the relationship x plus x plus x equal 180, better known as 3x equal 180, and then dividing by 3, we get that x is equal to 60 degrees. So there's our first value, x is 60 degrees. Now, we can also think about this angle that is right here that I'm going to show in green. And notice that that angle, together with the angle immediately to its right, form a straight line. So whatever that measure is would be 180 degrees minus x. But we know what x is, so 180 uh, let's, let me just take off this degrees here. We're using simply numbers. 180 minus 60 would be 120 degrees. So that's 120 degrees. And then in the triangle that I'm outlining in green, notice that two of those sides are congruent. Therefore, that is an isosceles triangle. And therefore, the base angles of the isosceles triangles, the angles uh, adjacent to those congruent sides, must also be congruent. So this is y degrees as well. Using the same notion about uh, the sum of the degrees of a triangle is 180 degrees, we can get one more equation. And that is that y degrees, or let me again leave off the degrees, and we're just talking about the values y plus y plus 120, that has to equal 180 degrees. Combining like terms and then subtracting 120 to the other side would give me 60, and dividing by 2 would give me that y is 30 degrees. So now we know that x is 60 degrees and y is 30 degrees, and that's just a very nice little example of playing with isosceles triangles.